Hi, my name is Cynthia Sari. What piqued my interest to learn from Carlene? I saw Carlene the first time at an AWAI boot camp. And it was the first year that I had joined AWAI and went to Delray Beach, um, traveled there by myself and was uh, on my own. I had retired from my 30 year career as a postal worker and wanted to become a copywriter and uh, had done some writing on my own, but thought I need to learn from some people that really know the business. And I had listened to what Carlene had to say and I thought, this girl is incredible. And uh, I think I want to know more about what it is that she has going on. So when I heard about her crazy copy that she was doing and her gold membership, I had joined at the gold level. Uh, I never even started at the basic member mem um, as a basic member. I started right in at the gold level because I wanted to get the most out of being a gold member and, and learning the most that I could. So that's that's what piqued my interest. And that's that's why I joined right away as as a gold member. How has Carlene helped sharpen my copywriting skills? I am a published author. And when I retired from the Postal Service after a 30 year career, I told myself I was not going to retire to nothing. I was going to be a copywriter. And I told my husband that I was going to be a copywriter. And I chose to join AWAI and learn how to hone my skills as a copywriter. And that was where I had first seen Carlene. And I said, I'm going to join Carlene's circle and learn how to write crazy copy because I just felt that her copy skills were a step above what it was that I wrote. Even though I had been a published author, I thought that the way that she teaches and relates to her audience is the way I want to relate to my audience. And the way that she has come across to her students helps make my copy shine. And, and evolves it into copy that speaks the way that she speaks, which is what I wanted all along. Have I participated with other mentorship programs? Yes. Um, like I said, I have been a member of AWAI since 2016 and I have taken several of the different mentorship programs through them. Um, I've also done um, mentorship programs through Steve Sloan White, uh, Will Newman, Marcella Allison, Ben Settle, um, and also of course with Carlene. And I love Carlene's take on reaching the audience that she features. Now she writes in the alternative health field. And in order to reach this audience, which seems to generate towards the 50 and older crowd, you have to say something that's going to speak to them. And it has to be something that's going to wake them up and make them say, hey, this is me and I need this product. And it's funny because when I read the covers and when I've read the mag magalogs that she has written, 
and have reverse engineered some of these magalogs that she's written, I have seen as an older person myself now, how they speak to myself. <laughs> and, and it's kind of sad, but true, because I need some of these things for myself that I have seen that, wow, this product will work for me. And I can see how the way that she has written it will make somebody else say, hey, this will work for me too. I love that. I need that. And I can see how using this style of writing that she has taught will help others learn that too. And that's important. That's everything. That's selling product. What would I say to someone who is considering receiving training from Colleen? What are you waiting for? I can't even understand what you would be waiting for. I can't wait. In fact, I plan my week around everything that I'm doing to make sure that I have set aside my time on Thursday to be there at that class. Anything I am doing, Fine, I can plan my week around making sure that my Thursday time is blocked off so that I can be at Carlene's class. Every single thing I am doing has time set aside to make sure that I am a part of being at this class. And I make sure that I have all of my notes and all of my um, copy that I have written spread out there around myself so that I can go through each thing. And the wonderful and creative guests that she's had on that have been so informative and just, they just overwhelm you with information. I have to go back time and again to these recordings to watch and to glean as much information as I possibly can out of them in order to get more and more out of them. And I thank God that they are recorded and that I can go back to them over and over again because otherwise I would miss so much. There's just so much information there. Um, if, if you are on the fence about wondering whether or not you should be there, then you aren't taking it seriously and, and you're missing out. You're missing out.